is so yubby. We were learning how to shake hands a second ago. She was doing so good. She's so smart. Do you want to practice some more? <laughs> okay, let's go in here. You didn't finish your breakfast. You got stuffing all over the house. You didn't finish your breakfast. Is it because I gave you some treats when we were training? Is that what it was? I spoiled your appetite. Good morning, everybody. So today I go into work like two o'clock. So I thought I would show you guys what my late work mornings are like. So far, all I've done is brush my teeth, take Goblin out to go potty. I just started to upload um, episode six of my Minecraft series today. So hopefully that'll go through today. It takes those videos so long to upload. But yeah, so I may play with Goblin a little bit more and then get breakfast. All right, let's try. Hold on. All right, sit. Sit. Are you not gonna listen to me since we're on camera? Okay, that was a little late response. All right, shake. She did it last time. All right, shake. You remember? You remember? Good girl! You did it, you're so smart. That's such a good girl. Shake. Yes! I got my fruit ready. I'm eating a kiwi and a peach. The best way to eat a kiwi um, is that you cut like the little top off of it, okay? Then you eat it with a spoon. You scoop it out um, and it's delicious. I think Goblin licked part of my kiwi, but I'm not sure. So I cut more off. I'm so scared. I don't think she licked it. Honestly, I don't really know. Uh, apparently I was almost out of iced coffee. Well, that doesn't look, well, the ice makes it look like I have a lot more. Look at all this stuffing. Look at my carpet, guys. Horrendous. Wonder what happened to it, huh? You guys are currently being held up by a brain. Pretty spooky, huh? I'm so ready for Halloween. Like, y'all don't even know. What did you have? No, ma'am. A squishy ball that's from like Christmas where do you find these things this is the proper way to eat a kiwi cut part of it off please stop get a spoon and you just doop, 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 like a bowl of ice cream it's awesome sour but good you have breakfast you don't need a kiwi anyway I'm gonna finish breakfast and then start doing my daily quiet time which honestly it's not daily I would like it to be daily. <laughs> That's better than not at all. So I need to not be so hard on myself. All right, well, I'm gonna finish breakfast and I will see y'all in a second. This is the brain that you guys are resting on, by the way. Let's do my Bible time and then let's see what else we can get into. Look how tore up the sucker is. I've had this for like years. So today I am reading in 2 Corinthians uh, chapter one. I am just now starting this today. Uh, my goal is to read through the New Testament. So I tried that with the Old Testament like years ago and I failed when I got to numbers. And then I just like hadn't picked it up since for the Old Testament and then I was like really struggling with a lot of crap and I felt like I wasn't close to God anymore and you know all this backstory that y'all don't need to know right now um and so I thought to myself I just need to pick up the Bible let it just be me the Bible and God and see what I discover basically kind of just starting from scratch you know starting fresh not having 4,000 studies or 4,000 teachers in my face tell me which way is right and what the Bible says and what it doesn't say. I was like, you know what? So let's pick it up, let's read through it, and let's see what's in here. Because I grew up in church and you know, that's just like scratching the surface. I mean, obviously you're supposed to have your own relationship with God, not just whatever your preacher says. But like, I don't know, when I read through this by myself, I like discovered so many things that like I didn't even know what like was in the Bible. It, it was so cool. I'm 23 and I'm still finding out new things about the Bible 
which is really interesting, even though I grew up in church. So I encourage you guys, if you're just curious about what this is all about, read it yourself. Just go through and read it. And I'm not saying don't have like resources for help. I have these websites that I go to when I'm like, what the heck does that mean? I'm going to put the websites on the screen. The first one is BibleRef.com. And then the second one is Got Questions. And Got Questions is an app. I don't know about Bible Ref. Oh, I have this much of the New Testament left. How fun. And then I'm going back to the Old Testament because I still have not finished it. But anyway, all that rambling to say, if you are confused or if you are struggling with like owning your own faith and being like, is this crap even real? Or I don't even know what's right. You know, you have all these different preachers saying different things. Go to the source. Anyway, <laughs> that's my little uh, spiel on that. Um, right off the bat, in chapter 1, this is something that's interesting. Um, so 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 3 through 4 really stuck out to me. Basically what I do is I just underline everything that like jumps out at me, anything I have questions about, anything that's like interesting in general. So, right off the bat, it says, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion, and the God of all comfort. Which really stuck out to me, just because I don't think a lot of people in today's world think of God as being comforting and compassionate. I think they think he's just some jerk, which is, well... Anyway, I'm not going to get into all that, but that just stuck out to me. Like, you know, when I am in distress, I can turn to him and he will provide peace and joy and comfort. And it goes on to say, who comforts us in all of our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from God. So God gives us comfort. And then as Christ followers, we're supposed to comfort those around us. So... That's also interesting. That jumped out to me as well. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Alright then, at least she's entertained. <laughs> it's time for a potty break. And as you can see, I have decorated my front porch <laughs> for Halloween. And it looks pretty awesome. It feels so freaking good out here, y'all. I'm so ready for fall. <laughs> it's like not even mid-september yet i'm so ready for october and cooler days but it feels so good right now it's like 9 30 in the morning it just feels crisp and cool and i love it and i'm actually very proud of myself for being um up and doing stuff before 9 30 because typically on my off day i sleep in till about nine and I've realized lately that I could get so much more done. I used to get up at like six every morning and it's seven on weekends. Just, I was such an early bird, but ever since I got married, my schedule has been thrown off. Thanks Trey. And I just haven't been able to get back into the swing of things. But luckily today I woke up right as Trey woke up for work and after he left, I popped out of bed and got things going, and now I have a lot more free time than I usually do. So I'm kind of rediscovering being a morning person, or I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Go body! I have to remind her that that was why we came outside, was to go potty and not to sniff every leaf and blade of grass. Goblin. Whatever. Sometimes we go 30 minutes without her doing anything, and then sometimes she runs right out and goes pee. So, today is a slow day. And that is sketchy because that means she might have had an accident somewhere in the house and I haven't found it yet. I sure hope not. She's been doing a lot better. She had some accidents yesterday, but they've been getting fewer and far in between so we are getting somewhere she's still like six months old so she's still such a little baby so we we still have hope that she's gonna keep learning and get better but y'all she is a very spunky little girl 
she does not know how to focus. <laughs> she has so much energy and like, it's so hard to burn all that energy off for her. All right, time to practice again. Are you ready? Also, one reason I know that it's not fall yet, um, the freaking mosquitoes that attacked me out there. Y'all. All right, girl, you ready? Let's sit. Shake. Shake. You know, shake. Come on, yeah, yeah, shake. You got it. Remember, shake. Come on, baby. Shake. Good. This is gonna be a long day. Goblin, pay attention. Sit. Good girl. Shake. Good girl. Lay down. Good girl. I'm so proud of you. You're so good. We're learning a new trick. You ready, girl? All right. Sit. Sit. Shake. No. <laughs> Shake. <gasps> yes! Yes! Good girl! She did it so good. Ah, that was the quickest response from her that I had yet. She's so smart. Hey, no. Sit. Go. Sit. Shake. Shake. Whoa now. <laughs> Look at her. She tried to shake. <laughs> Let's do it one more time and then I'll leave you alone. All right, girl. You ready? Last try. All right. Sit. Sit. Why did you lay down? What are you doing? Yeah, you're tired. I know. All right. Back up. Back up. Yeah. We're about done. Shake. No. <laughs> Let's lay down. Oh. She <laughs> mom, I'm so tired. Shake. Good girl. All right, she got it locked in. Okay, so I sat down and drank some more coffee and now I'm about to go make a post about this shirt because I am like, not really sponsored, but I'm like representing this like Christian clothing company. I bought this shirt from them and then once I post a few like pictures and videos and stories about it, they'll send me free clothes once a month. And that's really cool because I really wanted some like Christian clothing and I want long sleeve stuff too because winter's coming up, fall's coming up. Anyway, so I'm about to go make a post for this and then we'll see what else we can get into. I don't know if I am overconfident or stupid. I haven't fixed my hair, done makeup. All I did was put my darn shirt on. Hopefully the power of editing will make this good. I don't know what I'm doing. There's only so many things you can do when you have one product you know what I mean like you can only take so many cute pictures and make so many funny videos she peed so that's good all right let's go inside and edit these photos also it was cool earlier so I thought this would be a good idea it warmed up <laughs> I'm so ready for fall so pictures turned out pretty cute a lot better than I thought power of editing is magical. Now I'm going to find something else to eat because those freaking pieces of fruit are not cutting it. So I'm gonna go eat something else, probably just like a nutty bar or like a snack or something. And I don't know what I wanna do. I'm either gonna go paint or completely rearrange the spare bedroom. <laughs> but we have big plans today or watch anime. I don't really know, depends on how much time we have. Okay, so found a nutty bar. It was our last one, so I'm kind of bummed about that. But um, while I eat this, I'm gonna be looking through eh, some of these. Um, so I found these last night. Um, so I'm I'm writing a book. Um, it's a fiction book. It's super fun. Um, one day I want to publish it, but I know myself. I don't know if I'm ever gonna actually do that. I don't even know how to even start that process. This has been a story and an idea I've had since like early childhood. I found, that's an Eddie bar, my um, <laughs> written out versions of this story from when I was like a young teenager. And I am so horrified and so excited to see what I wrote 
You're probably not gonna get to see any of this. Oh my gosh. This is the worst. The this is the worst thing I've ever read. It's so bad. Very entertaining though. I will give it that. I'm probably going to end up reading all of it. So. Mm. I think I'm traumatized after reading that. Uh, let's go be productive or do something besides sit on the couch. So I'm currently working on an art project and this is what it looks like. All of this is going towards this drawing, painting, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of a mixed media thing. But I found this really cool frame in my garage and so I wanted to put something in it. And when I don't know what to make, I always do a self portrait just because it's kind of interesting to see, I don't know, how my perception of myself changes throughout the years and also I guess I'm just self-centered <laughs> but no it's something that I'm very familiar with you know I know myself I know what I look like you know I see myself in the mirror every day so I don't know and I always think it's fun to do that because look over here I have well this is a long story but I have two self-portraits right here but these are gonna look different than this drawing my self-portrait like often is a good way to keep track of my style and how it changes because I'm drawing the exact same person but it looks different like every time so it's pretty interesting. Well, this is what I did today. It's not finished. I still have a lot of little things I want to add, but I think it looks pretty funky, pretty cool. I love art like this. I love collage, mixed media, anything like that. So I'm, I'm happy with this so far. Now, unfortunately, I have to get ready for work. So let's go do that. Then we'll put Goblin up, go get lunch, and then start our work day. There's an airplane. All right. It's time to go to work, but before work, I'm picking up a Chick-fil-A for lunch because I have free chicken nuggets. You see? 